Hey, this is Terra Toots with a quick tour of the Canyon preset scene in Terrigen 4, which is included in the free preset pack on the Terrigen website. In this video, we'll break down the main components of this scene and talk through some of the techniques demonstrated, including one method for lateral or sideways displacement and two different ways to mask shaders. The first thing to notice is that the author of this scene has kindly included some notes on scene in the node network, and you're welcome to consult those for additional detail. We're going to start out with the majority of the nodes disabled so that we can more easily see the effect of each layer. To disable a node or group of nodes, use the D key. The base of this terrain is a simple rectangular shape shader that is going to eventually form the canyon wall. It's important to notice, however, that the displacement uses a smooth step edge profile, which blends the transition between the two altitudes. Keeping that smooth transition is a key to achieving good lateral displacement in Terrigen. The main render camera is positioned here next to the wall. And at first, all we're going to see is a smooth blank surface. That won't last long though, as we bring in the next set of nodes, which use power fractals to displace the surface. The first simply adds some small surface detail, but the next two are where we start to see some action, with larger lateral outcrops being added at different scales. An important thing to notice here is the use of the redirect shader. Both of these fractals are being piped through the Z input of the redirect shader, which means that all of their displacement is going to happen in the Z direction which in Terrigen is sideways. This is one way to get lateral displacement on a vertical surface. Notice, however, that this method only gives us displacement in one direction. If we come over to the end of our rectangular cliff, this side is mostly still smooth. The second outcrop layer also demonstrates that you can mask a shader by setting it as a child to a distribution shader. The next section of the preset applies two different strata layers to the rock face, which is starting to look more like rock. We'll cover strata shaders in more detail in another video, but for now, just notice that they are adding some sharper, more defined horizontal lines to the surface. Another version of shader masking is also demonstrated here, where a distribution shader is used as an input to the strata shader's mask port. After the strata, another small scale power fractal shader is used to add some very fine surface roughness, giving the rock a more weathered, realistic look. Finally, we're on to color shaders. With the geometry finished, We'll switch over to the ray trace preview for a better look at their effects. The majority of the cliff's color comes from the base color shader, which has been set to use a blend of both light and dark colors. Another surface layer adds some darker patches, which are restricted by slope to fall only on vertical surfaces. The final two surface layers are mostly just a touch-up, adding some red and orange and softening the edges of the underlying colors. And that is the Canyon preset. To summarize, Let's take one more look at the layer buildup in this scene. 